Chapter Seventeen of Mary, a Fiction by Mary Wollstonecraft. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by April Gonzalez. Chapter Seventeen. In order to gain strength to support the expected interview, she went down in a carriage. The day was fine, but all nature was to her in a vessel blank. She could neither enjoy it nor weep that she could not. She passed by the ruins of an old monastery, and a very high hill she got up to walk amongst the ruins. The wind blew violently. She did not avoid its fury. On the contrary, wildly bid it blow on, and seemed glad to contend with it, or rather walk against it. Exhausted, she returned to the carriage was soon at home, and in the old room. Henry started at the sight of her altered appearance. The day before her complexion had been the most pallid hue, but now her cheeks were flushed, and her eyes enlivened with a false vivacity, an unusual fire. He was not well. His illness was apparent in his countenance, and he owned he had not closed his eyes all night. This roused her dormant tenderness. She forgot they were so soon to part in cross by present happiness of seeing, of hearing him. Once or twice she essayed to tell him that she was, in a few days to depart, but she could not. She was irresolute. It will do to morrow. Should the wind change, they could not sail in such a hurry. Thus she thought, and insensibly grew more calm. The ladies prevailed on her to spend the evening with them, but she retired very early to rest, and sat on the side of her bed several hours, then threw herself in it, and waited for the dreaded to morrow. End of chapter 17